I fall asleep, yeah I need you with me by my side Welcome to the Cotswolds. I am here for three nights. It's already been two nights, but honestly, first day we arrived, we got up here after work. So it was just a late night, went to the pub and then came back here. Yesterday, I was working from our little cabin all day and went for a little walk at lunch, went out for dinner. And then today is our first like full day where I'm not stuck to my laptop all day. So I'll be taking you through where we go. We are definitely going to do Dalesford Farm because that's like one of my favorite restaurants in London and it's all sourced from their farm here. So going to that. And then there's a few other towns like Bippery and a couple other, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Like I'm out of my own territory, but luckily I'm with a local all week and he'll be showing me the way. So very excited to be here. I'll do a tour of our little flat once we check out because we've already made a mess out of it but it is so cute it's like a little loft um where like the bedroom and there's like a big bathtub just like in the middle of the room upstairs this downstairs area is like really cute as well um but like i said today we'll be out the whole day so showing you my outfit i have this like cord jacket the weather is amazing it's like 22 degrees and sunny um so i'm wearing this dress and then my cowboy boots because you can take the girl out of the country but you can't take the country out of the girl so we made it the cutest little village burford i think it is um just like very retro all the shops are so cute we saw this little old candy store and i found what we call soap candy but they're like floral gums i love them but uh most people don't and my company doesn't made them try it but it just reminds me of home because we have this candy shop in Banff that sells them and get them every year. She left the home to find where she Mother's scared to leave her all alone But she got time And she knows what to figure out The scene in a dream A place where it seems to love will come out So don't stay Dalesford Farm and it was so nice to be there. I felt so bougie and out of place, but it was gorgeous and the food was so good. You got time and you know what to figure out. The scene in a dream, a place where it seems to love will come around. So don't stay here. She left her home to find where she belongs. Mother's scared to leave her all. 
spent most of the day we just are leaving um that's called lower slaughter which is where part of emma was filmed which obviously like the name have to love the movie honestly so gorgeous i feel like this area is extremely underrated it's quiet it's beautiful we stopped at a pub and got a drink while watch the sunset which is so nice around here i don't film any of it obviously because i feel like this trip is very much like in the moment and I just forget about it but now back in the car updating you now we are going to Burton on the water before dinner uh, one more little town stop and then we'll be eating at a quite a nice restaurant called the wild Rabbit. this place looks so cute Roddy's dropping off the car I'm getting our table because we're like five minutes late for a reservation but it's so beautiful like in the middle of nowhere feels like we're at like winery country or something and it's just like quaint and quiet, but this restaurant looks gorgeous. And it's like, we were on a wait list for a couple days to get a reservation here. So I'm glad we were able to sneak in. Last day in the Cotswolds and I'm so sad and so frizzy. This is what happens when I don't get access to a flat iron. Um, anyways, ignoring all of this, I will take you through the cottage that we stayed in. It's called the Churchyard Cottage. I'll leave the link to the Airbnb below. It's in Ashbury, which is in like Swindon region, so not quite the Cotswolds, but we found the Cotswolds to be very busy this week just because of the Easter weekend. And where we're staying is quite like secluded, so it felt very nice and private um, and not a far drive from the villages that we wanted to see at all, so. I've absolutely loved it. I, hands down, if could ever afford it, buy something exactly like this. I just think it's the cutest little college and gives me very, like, holiday vibes. So you walk in the front door and immediately you have the kitchen, which is very nice. We uh, cooked all of our breakfasts and lunch here um, and everything worked great. I love this mag. I'm so envious of this mag. And then cute windows, cute little seating area. This is where I worked from. We got a TV. Our first night, we just kind of like chilled here. It's such a comfy couch. And then going up the stairs, you come around the stairs to the upper bedroom loft area, which has the world's largest tub. I loved this thing we definitely got use out of it and then here we have the bathtub your bath bathroom which also very cute and the shower is just kind of this whole room which was interesting but very nice from the bedroom as well there's this extra little loft area up there Overall, we've had the best little weekend here. Highly recommend staying in the Cotswolds and this place specifically in Ashbury. And uh, today we're just like going for a big walk. So nothing really more to update, but I hope you enjoyed these little clips. <laughs> it is Saturday morning, two weeks after I got back from the Cotswolds. So that's what would have been the last thing in this video that you saw. I also went to Oxford, so I have a couple like random snippets of that that I'll enter here. Yeah, I need 
Today, I am going to Brighton with two friends. Um, I'm so excited. I've been seeing so much of England lately and almost entirely coincidental because we have a lot of like short bursts of bank holidays here. So obviously with the Easter long weekend and two weeks later, it's the May long weekend, which is kind of funny to me, but it's nice. So I want to take advantage of those days off. So this Brighton trip, I actually like totally planned it with my friends. I'm definitely one to not want to like sit around like instead of recharging over the long weekend I'm like, what are we doing? Let's go somewhere fun So Brighton will be amazing. I am so excited to take you along 